Today is the day you're going to learn the quickest, easiest way to get rid of harsh highlights. It's a short video, so watch it all the way through because at the end I'm going to show you a really cool trick for getting rid of that highlight right under the eye. I always work non-destructively, so Control J to duplicate the layer. Directly underneath the foreground and background colors is a tool you may have never noticed before. It's called the Quick Mask tool. Go ahead and double click on that and I'll explain what everything means, but for now, make sure that you have Color Indicates Selected Area Selected, Red as your foreground color, and 100% Opacity. Then click OK. Now you know that you're in quick mask mode because the layer turns red. If your layer did not turn red, you're not in quick mask mode. So try it again and make sure that it's red. Now I'm going to select a soft black brush. Actually, I'm going to turn my hardness up just a little bit so I have some control over how much the edges bleed over. But with a black brush, all I'm going to do is paint on the shadows that I want to get rid of. Now the way quick mask mode works is anything you paint over will become a selection and I'll I'll show you what I mean. Once I've painted over everything, I'm just going to hit Q for quick mask and look what happened. Everything I painted over became a selection. That's why we chose color indicates selected areas in that menu that popped up earlier because that red color that we painted indicated the area that would be selected. Now with the shadows selected, I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer. And notice, just like always, the white in the mask shows where we selected. So this selection works just like any other. And I'm just going to bring those shadows up until I feel like it looks right. Now it looks like she was standing in front of a window and there was just a wall in the way. So her entire face would be pretty brightly lit overall. Now there are a few things going on here and don't worry, yes, I do see the line. But one of the things I want to fix first is the vibrance and saturation that we kind of lost when we brought down those shadows. So I'm just going to create a vibrance layer with a clipping mask. So hold down Alt and click in between the two layers. And I'm just going to adjust and bring up the vibrance as well as the saturation saturation in that side of her face. I'm also going to create a hue saturation adjustment layer and bring back the color in her cheeks. So I'm just going to invert that layer and just paint the adjustment into her cheek. Now I'm actually going to go back to the original mask where I brought down the shadows and I noticed that I l went a little overboard. So I'm just going to mask that off in some areas that I don't want. And of course you can make any adjustments. I feel like standing in front of a window that will be even a little bit lighter. So I'm going to turn the shadows up even a little tiny bit more. And you'd want to paint this off in some places. And so I'm going to turn my opacity down, but the eyelid naturally casts a bit of a shadow. So you want to paint this effect off of the upper portion of the eye, the eyebrows, and just around the features generally at a lower opacity. Just kind of paint this off to bring back some more of the detail. Now let's tackle that line and to do that we're going to use the patch tool. Now with the patch tool you do have to combine all of the layers below by making a stamp visible layer. To do this hit Control Alt Shift E and that just combined all of your layers into one. So I'm going to grab the patch tool. It lives in with the healing brush tool and the spot healing tool, just in case you can't find it. And all you need to do here is to make a selection around that line that you see and drag over to a cleaner area of skin and then hit control D to deselect. And you can see that that line went away. I'm just going to continue on down her face and it's better to work in tiny little areas. Don't do the entire thing all at once. So you just make your selection, drag to a cleaner area of skin, hit Control D to deselect and keep going just like that. I'm also going to do the same thing in here to get rid of this darker shadowy area between the eye and the nose. Now sometimes it's too much, like here it was just too much, it created a little bit of a edge. So I'm going to undo that and I'll show you what to do. So once again, I'm going to make my selection of the line and a little bit of surrounding area, bring it to a nicer area. And from here, I'm going to go to edit fade patch selection, turn your opacity all the way down and then just kind of inch it up until it looks okay. And that creates a much smoother transition. I'm going to do the same thing here, make my selection, move it over to a nicer area. Edit, Fade, Patch, Selection, turn my opacity all the way down, and then just inch it up until it looks good. Okay, I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but I followed this same exact procedure to get rid of that harsh highlight right over her eyelid on this side. So here's a before 
and after. Again, I just did the same exact thing with the patch tool and went along those edges to soften up the edges. Just that alone made a huge difference, and I'm not mad about that highlight being there. I feel like it makes for a little bit more natural of a look. It makes sense in this setting. Now I'm going to show you a really cool trick to get rid of that highlight under her eye. I'm grabbing the lasso tool, and I'm just going to select that highlight as well as some area underneath. Right click, and I'm going to feather my selection a little bit. Then I'm going to hit Control J twice to make two copies of that selection. Create a clipping mask by holding down Alt and just clicking in between the two layers. Now watch, all you have to do is hit Control T and then right click and select Warp. What we're going to do is warp the selection of skin that is under the highlight and just bring it over top of the highlight. So it's just bringing that little bit of skin up a little bit to cover the highlight. Now we're going to group these layers. Hold down shift, right click and select group. And now I'm just going to create a black layer mask and paint this on only exactly where I need it, just over that highlight. So here's a before and after. That's such a quick, easy trick for getting rid of highlights, specifically in small little areas. Now you don't want to do this in a large area. It won't look as good. Now I just want to get rid of that extra little shadowy area on her eyelid in the corner. So all I'm going to do is merge together all of the previous layers by hitting Control Alt Shift E. And again, I'm going to use a quick mask. You could use any selection tool, but I'm going to hit Q for quick mask. I know I'm on quick mask mode because my layer is red. And then again, I'm just going to paint over with a black brush. Hit Q again, and now my painting has become a selection. Now, if I try to right-click to feather my selection this time, it doesn't work because I'm on the paintbrush, so all I have to do is grab a selection tool and then right-click and choose Feather Selection. And now, just like we did before, I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer and just bring that shadow up. And then with the mask selected, I'm just going to paint this off where I don't need it. We're looking really good. The lighting, however, is looking a little flat, so I'm just going to use one more quick mask, so Q for quick mask, and I'm going to paint the side of her face that actually is in shadow, and I'm just going to accentuate that shadow a little bit more. So again, Q again for the selection, and I'm just going to come up and do one more curves adjustment and just bring that original natural shadow down a little bit. And now her face isn't so evenly lit. It's got a little bit more contrast and dimension. And from here, you can just do any edits you normally would do at this point, whatever needs to happen for your image. I hope this was helpful. If you have a request, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to make it happen.